Hey, what's going on everybody? No Hembre here. Welcome to a new Lorepedia video, which is uh, what I'm calling this new lore video series, by the way. About a legendary First Order officer who deserved much more recognition than he was given. Moden Kennedy is a name you've probably never heard of in Star Wars, but believe it or not, he was actually more important than you realize. During the intro World War II-esque space battle of The Last Jedi, we see the First Order Mandator IV Class Siege Dreadnought, also known as the Fulminatrix, train its guns on the Resistance base on Dakar. Commanding this ship is an obviously disgruntled officer known as Captain Moden Kennedy, played by Welsh actor Mark Lewis Jones. Captain Kennedy actually began his service in the Galactic Empire, rising to be the commander of an Imperial Star Destroyer named the Solicitude. Unfortunately, this is all that is really known about his service, but I can assume that based on the timeline of the movies, he was a decent officer in the Galactic Empire, given that during the time of the Imperial Era and his command of the Solicitude, he would have been in his 20s. Fun fact, Moden Kennedy is actually named after May Dove Kennedy, who is the titular character of the 2002 movie May, in which Ryan Johnson, director of The Last Jedi, worked as the editor. Captain Kennedy actually hated most of the First Order officers, including General Armitage Hux. I mean, who doesn't? Funny enough, Kennedy is also known for literally calling General Hux a bloody idiot, naturally, due to Hux insisting on a foolish strategy. He held on to this hate for his command role in the First Order because he had to put up with the crews of said ships, and they were young, inexperienced, and arrogant. Not unlike a certain younger First Order general who we see on screen a few times. However, it seems his instincts and military experience would prove him correct, as Hux's strategy did in fact prove to be quite stupid. Hux ordered Kennedy to basically sit idly by while bombing the Resistance base because, in Hux's words, we are making a demonstration. Had Kennedy had his way, he would have launched fighters much sooner and most likely negated Poe Dameron's plan of destroying the surface cannons of the Fulminatrix, possibly killing the best Resistance pilot and changing the entirety of the sequel trilogy in the process. But instead, due to his foolish commander, we watch as one of the last good honorable officers of the Galactic Empire stands firm and respectfully accepts his death at the helm of his ship, being bested by the enemy. So now you know the true story of the legendary First Order officer, Captain Moden Kennedy, and how he literally could have won the war against the Resistance if not for being failed by his commander. If you like this video, leave a like, and feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment with ideas for any other videos you want to see, I just might do them. Thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you later.